Well, greetings, everyone. Rick here, KG7GUO for DMRShack.com. If you remember in my last video, we took a look at the Oshang KGD901. Today, we're going to take a look at the Oshang KGUVN1, the dual band DMR handheld from Oshang. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I've heard several different ways of how to pronounce it, but not going to do an unboxing video again because you know everything comes in the box that you need your radio your antenna your charger your wrist strap and the battery yes okay so let's take a look at the radio see if we can keep this video a little shorter than the last one but it, i guess it doesn't matter um that's your front panel pretty straightforward nice looking radio feels solid in the hand over here on this side you got your ptt push to talk your side key one, side key two, your belt clip, and belt clip is attached to the radio body, not the battery. So when you remove the battery, you don't have to take your belt clip off with it. And over here we have the speaker mic and USB port. Um, is secured with a screw. Why they did that, I'm not entirely sure, but you can't just flip it out. You have to undo the screw. I got it, you know, some loose, so you can kind of do it by hand, but. We don't need to do that for the video. <laughs> I can't hold my camera and unscrew it at the same time. It's a little difficult. Up here you got your standard, let's see if we can get this thing to focus a little better. Your power on knob, your channel selector knob, your TX light, your RX light, and your LED flashlight, of course. Alrighty, let's get into it. Let's take a look at it. Let's fire it up here. Let's see if I can do this. Do, do, do. Here we look at that, KG7GUODMRShack.com. Um, pretty straightforward. It is dual standby, dual display. I have it in single mode now, but it will do dual mode. Um, keypad lock. I got my keypad lock on. I probably. What I noticed on this radio is the menus seem to lag just a little bit. Like I have to hit menu and then star. Oops, see, you get it. They run a little slow. All right, keypad unlock. Let's take a look at the menu here. Wish I get this thing to focus just a little better. Contact, message, call log, set, zone, of course, scan, appendix, and I'm not even sure what really append. Oh, that's like your P1 key in your recorder. You do have the recorder where you have your options to mode, interval, time, view, and delete all. Of course, mode, you can do receive only, transmit. Um, oh, has that been on the whole time? I thought that was off. RX, TX, and off. Let's set that to off. Wow, I wonder how many of those I've recorded since it's been on. Oh, look at that. I wonder if we can give it a play. It was just a kerchunk. Somebody kerchunked. KG5, PPT, testing, Jack 310. Anybody available for a quick audio report? Well, that kind of neat for the video. I didn't realize that was even turned on, but it kind of helps for the video, so you can kind of get an idea of what the recorder sounds like. I'm going to unlock it again. Keypad unlock. Let's go back in there for a minute. See what else we got in here. Play. That was just a kerchunk. What's still playing? <laughs> anyway. All right. I didn't realize these were all in here. All right, anyway, that's that. You got your messaging, everything. The other thing I noticed on this radio, the screen does seem to be a little dimmer than the 901. Uh, when you're out in the daylight, it's really hard to see. But other than that, it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and uh, kerchunk the repeater so we can hear the audio quality here. Or not. Oh, somebody was talking. There we go. Good old TAC 310. Of course, now there'll probably be nobody there. But anyway, the other thing that... Well, that wasn't a very good signal, but the one other thing I noticed that kind of is annoying, on the 901, even with the keypad lock, I could hit this button over here for my zone select and it would bring it up. This will not do it with the locked. It will not let me do that. But yet if I press and hold it, it turns on my flashlight just fine. Uh, 
but I actually have to unlock the keypad, keypad to get my top key zone key to work. Then I then I can select my zone. But uh, other than that, um, let's see. When I first got the radio, the software, I needed an update to the software. It would, uh, even though it would let me write zones and RX groups in the software, it was not writing them to the radio. But I emailed Oshang, and within less than 24 hours, they sent me a link back for updated software. And then it was able to write my zones and RX groups to the radio. So, and then, uh, um, other than that, everything's pretty straightforward. It feels solid in the hands, got a good feel to it. I don't know off the top of my head what the milliamp hours on the battery is without taking it off and looking. But, uh, everybody's just kerchunking. You know how TAC 310 is. If you're into DMR at all, everybody just kerchunks and doesn't ever say much. So, hard to get a good audio conversation going there. But it does have good audio, sounds real good clean it might be a little fuzzier than the 901 but overall it's still really clean let's see if we can uh let's see since i have all those recordings let's see if there's another one where you can hear somebody actually say something does it give me duration here's a 20 second duration let's see what this says maybe that's not a good one sounds like a bunch of noise to me Oops. Let's see. 24 seconds. Uh, right. Uh, yes, I'm in uh, Wayne, New Jersey right now. Uh, I see you're coming from New York. Uh, so we're kind of neighbors. Hi, hi. Uh, Good volume level. Um, that's just a recording, so I guess you can't hear a whole lot on a recording, but here, there's an actual call. Screen looks pretty good, other than it being dim. I wish this camera would focus just a little better. But anyway, what can I say? It's another great radio from Oshang. Um, I like it. It's a little thicker than, say, let's compare the two here. That's the 901 up against the UBN one. Let's do a side-by-side. -side. Oops, can't get that one to stand up. Of course, it's not going to stand up for me. A little thicker, a little heavier, but it is dual band, dual display. Um, actually, I can probably show you that since we're, I wasn't going to go too much into this menu, but... Oh, shoot. It's hard to hold the camera and unlock this thing. Okay, keypad unlock. Let's go in. Set. Radio set. Um, radio config. It's radio set, I think. Kilo November 4, Sierra Bravo Mike. This is Kevin. Double weight. There it is. Double weight. We'll turn double weight on. Maybe. And there you have it. There you can have your uh, dual display monitor two bands at the same time. TAC 310, Olympic Peninsula. That's one of our local talk groups. But yeah, see, double weight does work. Oops. And we're locked again. Anyway. Uh... I'm going to keep this video short, but that's the KG UVN1 from Oshang. It's definitely a nice radio. I have no complaints. Audio quality is good. Uh, audio reports. People say I sound good. So, another great radio from Oshang. Alrighty. This is KG7GUO for DMRShack.com. Thanks for watching.